Hi guys, my name is Jade and I'm the owner of JKG Photography. I'm a fashion and beauty photographer based in London. And today we are in Peckham, your London studio, shooting two studio shoots for today. So the first one is with Lily and we're going to be doing a blue inspired look with uh, some glitter, giving really spring summer. And then our second model is Gina and we're introducing pinks, oranges for today. Today we used the Easy Frame Vintage Backdrop in aubergine and ink and it was 2 by 2.3 which allowed me to introduce fashion content into something that I would normally use for beauty. I had two models as I said previously so it allowed me to showcase more style and more poses. So for Lily we had actually had her on the floor using some um, Manfrotto fabrics and then had her posing in a particular way which allowed us to kind of get some really nice long shots as well and in regards to Gina for the aubergine we had literally full shots which was really good the good thing about the easy frame vintage background is that once it's in its suitcase I'm able to take it anywhere with me take it outside I can keep it in the studio it's very versatile and for that reason it's why I'm happy to actually be able to use it and once I have all the different colours I can alternate it very easily. The good thing about the different colours is that it's very versatile in regards to how you light it. Depending on how you light it you get a different type of shade which is really good. I've probably used this about five or six times and each time it looks very very different. So I think utilising your lighting and utilising the backdrops allows you to get versatility too. I feel like I really wanted to bring some spring summer into a gloomy weather that we have right now. So the things I'll be using today is my Halo Compact Plus, the diffuser and reflector. I wanted to showcase a different way of diffusing the light instead of using a softbox. Now what that does, it softens the light that comes across Lily, which you can see here, but then it also gives a nice glow at the same time because I didn't want anything too harsh. If you were to look at the before and afters, you can see how harsh the light is and it's very overpowering. It loses, it, it washes her out. So with the diffuser, it allows us to do this. But I also wanted to showcase how we could use that same technique, but using natural light as well. Being able to have that around with me, say for example, we're in the shade and I wanna reflect some sunlight onto my model I'm able to do that which you will see I've done here with Lily where she's in the shade I've used the sunlight and reflected that light upon her and kind of given her a nice sort of natural sunny glow it looks like flash but it isn't again it's a good way to utilize especially when we're maybe we don't have flash or anything like that you have the Halo Compact Plus to be able to do that The good thing with the Halo Compact Plus is that it's 45% bigger than the previous one, which means it allows us to get more than just her face. It allows us to get her outfit and the rest of her body, which is great. It's compact, which means it folds up very nicely in my suitcase. I don't go anywhere without it. I feel like we always need a reflector, especially when we do get those little sunny days in England. It's a good point to have.